Hey there guys and what's going on before this episode begins I just want to let you guys know that I want you guys to go in the description right now and check out Tyler the boss 13 and his buddy pokey who are doing uh, a faction series on rocky pvp they recently um well, I recently met them both, and they're really cool guys, and we record an episode or part of an episode with each other, uh, which I ended up losing the footage for due to some weird corruption thing. I lost a lot of footage and have been behind. But anyway, I lost that footage, and I want them to, you know, grow. So make sure to subscribe to them both. Pokey, I believe, I don't I don't remember how many it has off the top of my head, and I know uh, Tyler's nearing 1,000. So let's see if we can get him to 1,000. Every single one of you who watches this. Go subscribe to his channel, and I, I mean, I mean you. Yes, don't wait for the other people to do it. You yourself must go and click and subscribe to his channel. It's really awesome. You guys should go check him out. He's a cool guy. And let's get into the video. <laughs> Okay there everyone and hello and welcome back to another episode of Faction. So today I'm going to be going over everything within our brand new base. For those of you who have not been watching my live streams, you probably have no idea what is going on in this faction because I haven't been doing videos on it recently because of ArcadiaCon and we've done quite a bit while I was gone. So I'm going to go through every little detail about how it works and that's really going to be it for this episode. It's going to be a short episode but I have to catch up back on the episode so this one's sort of going to be a short filler episode and then we're going to get back into factions and we're going to be doing some raiding and stuff coming up so it's going to be really awesome. So let's get into it. So what you guys do know is that we had a house up here um, and it's made of obsidian. We These two new iron blocks. This is an anvil and this is a repair kit that goes with MC MMO and I don't exactly know how they work but the rest of my faction does and they've been helping me out with those things um, ender chest there now we have this brewing thing that I don't touch because I have no idea how it works because I'm not smart when it comes to that stuff uh, we also have an enchanting table over there um, around back there is absolutely nothing except for torches we're gonna add some more stuff as the time goes on though to get down to the lower part of the base we jump down here there we go and we have a bunch more ender chests I don't know why we have so many um, and then we have more water flowing down uh, from the center of the base. We have an AFK pool right here. I believe this is going to be a farm area. We have a nether wart farm right here that when I hit this, you'll see a bunch of water is flow flowed out. And these nether warts are supposed to be going in, but do not quite go into the, uh, the thingy on the floor. You can see there's a glitch where they don't all go in. So we got to fix that still. But besides that, everything works really good with this thing. And I got to turn off the water flow. I got to go turn it off. Turn off. And that should turn it off. There we go. And then what we do is we can just replant these. And basically, we want to get nether warts going because, well, one, they sell for a good amount. And you can get a ton of them at a time. So we also have another farm that we've uh, created. And it's really, really good. So I got to show you guys that as well. Um, and I'm going to replant this later. But basically, the farm is an enderman farm. And Enderman is the best way to make money currently on the server, though we are going to be decreasing it because it is a little bit overpowered. But, you know, we'll, we're, do, we're doing what we got to do, if that makes sense. We, we do what we got to do. So uh, I'll let these grow for a bit, and then we'll get back to those. And let's go show you guys the Enderman farm. So if we go around back here, well, infinite water source. Um, if we go around the room, we still have an Enderman issue. We don't know where they're spawning, but they are coming from somewhere. Could be in the base, actually. I don't, I don't know. Ah, yes. This is where they're coming from. Okay. That's why. I was like, they have to be spawning somewhere. I've lit up almost every area. But anyway, guys. Um, so we have another farm right here. I don't... I think this is the cactus farm. Uh, yeah, it's a cactus farm. Um, and then we also happen to have the enderman farm, which is all the way down here. So we go down to the glowstone floor. Uh, and then we go all the way down this way. And around this way. And you can see that we, this is our enderman farm. What happens is... I'll show you how it works in just a sec. Right here is a giant dispenser area, and as endermen fall down, they die and they drop their ender pearls. And if we go into uh, these chests, or if we go into this one right here, you'll see ender pearls appearing in it and then disappearing. And that's because when they die, they drop their ender pearls, which go through a series of hoppers, which lead into this chest. So if we go down this ladder here and turn down our sounds of those obnoxious dying endermen, um, we can see that. We, are, we have stacks upon stacks of ender pearls, and if sitting here for like 10 minutes, you get basically a few whole chests full of ender pearls. So it's pretty awesome. Um, and ender pearls sell for quite a bit, so like if I were to take a bunch right now and then go to slash warp shop, I could sell them and make a lot of money. But my chat is turned off, and I can't type slash warp shop, so I'm going to pretend I didn't actually accidentally make that mistake and just continue on with the tour. Okay, guys, so I'm going to turn on slash fly mode just to show you guys this. 
I don't usually use this in game, though I have used it in the past. Fly is allowed because we are going to have a donor rank with fly, uh, which does make it completely legal, but we are going to set rules for the fly and all that. We just haven't gotten around to it. Basically, up here, the endermen spawn and they run at this endermite. Why are they not Oh, they are. Okay. And what they do is they'll go to attack this endermite, which is in... Is he dead? Mr. Endermite. Hello? I thought I heard him. So the endermen are supposed to go attack this endermite. Um, ow. Oh, right. I'm in survival. Go away. Come here. Just fall. Come on. Come on. I forgot I'm in survival. The endermen attack the endermite who is in there. You can see the purple particles. And they run... For some reason, they're not attacking when I'm up here. But when I'm down here, they will. Um... And they'll attack that endermite, and then they all fall down into this hole, which they seem to stop working for some reason. Oh, now they're coming again. Uh, you can see they'll attack. You can see him running at it, and then he'll fall. If we go up here, you'll see a bunch of them going at for, going. For, but when I'm up here, they stop attacking it, so I don't think I can be up there for it to work. Anyway, that's it. I'll give you guys an outside view of our base really quick. It's literally just an obsidian box and an obsidian platform. And that's really it to it. We have a bunch of water flowing down. Um, that is legit our base nothing special um afk pool there and yeah that's really what's this button do i've never seen this button before oh it's just a button okay um and that's really all there is to the base um right now we want to add on make a few more floors and all that and we just haven't gotten around to it and um, to finish off this episode guys like i promised every single episode i would add a head to the subscriber headroom so let's go do that and I'll be right back to do that. Okay, guys, so I have the heads here. Uh, if you're wondering where Boom's sign went, uh, we ended up losing that. We ended up getting raided. It's kind of a complex story, but then uh, the raid was kind of invalid because we discovered there was cheats involved, so we had to get the base repaired and all that. And I'm not going to mention names or anything else because it's kind of a complex situation. But we got it all figured out and all that, and it was all solved. And we fixed the issue and all of that, and we kind of lost Boom's sign. I don't remember what it said, and I have to go back and get that for you, Boom, but I will. And Epic Jake left a super sweet comment on the video, so I'm going to be giving him a sign that says super sweet comment man dude oh yeah and that's gonna be his and that guy is uh, epic underscore Joe or epic underscore Jake excuse me who uh, posted that comment so thank you Jake for the nice words you get your own head if you guys would like your own head downstairs all you got to do is leave a like and a comment on this video and I will possibly choose you. And then I also uh, am going to need your Minecraft IGN. So make sure I get that as well. Uh, but that's really it for this episode, guys. Shorter episode today, but I had a lot to do. So it has to be a little on the shorter side. But I will make sure to get back to regular episodes and all that very soon. Thank you guys a ton for watching. And as always, stay beautiful. And peace.